Hey everyone, welcome to Family Reviews. Uh, I just wanted to do a review on or how to grow a avocado tree. Um, a lot of people have bothered me um, because I'm, apparently I'm the only one that can grow them really well, at least here in Canada. Uh, a lot of my colleagues at work and whatnot have uh, tried and have unsuccessfully grown nothing from an avocado pit. So, so far I just wanted to give you guys an update. Just cleaned out an avocado. Just making guacamole there. So, this is a pit you definitely don't want to use. There's a chunk missing. My daughter attacked it with a knife. Clearly, something not usable. I'll show you one I already currently have. It's growing. See, there's a little root base growing out of the bottom of it. Now, as you can see, I've peeled this one. This one's been there for a little while. You can see where the stress crack line is. You can see it takes a little while to grow. This has been growing for about two weeks now. So I'm going to show you how to grow one from an avocado. Since this is fresh, I just peeled it. As you can see, there's like the crack line right here so that's where you do not want to put the toothpicks so you're gonna to need toothpicks two of them a glass with some cold water in it that's all you need and the av obviously the avocado all right so this is really hard to do when you're on your phone so taking my avocado finding the bottom which is this piece right here you can tell by this little nub right on that spot that's the bottom this smaller spot up here it's kind of hard to see because it's this one's more of a round shape this is the top this is the bottom so I'm just gonna stick it with some toothpicks and I'll be right back Okay, so there you go. I have put the avocado seed, put the toothpicks in. You want to put it in a, on an angle upward. Then you just put it in the water. Make sure it's submerged. Every single day you're going to want to clean out the water. It means you're going to want to dump it out just like that. Turn on the cold water and refill it. Just up about halfway up the same maybe a little bit more uh, just make sure that especially in the heat of the summer here uh, it gets up to almost 40 degrees with humidity so some of the water could evaporate during the day it's not a big deal and then you leave it there for about three weeks or so or more it'll get some sunlight right now I have some herbs growing there so can't really stick it up in the window plus it doesn't fit this one here has been growing, like I said, for about a, two weeks now. So in about another two to four weeks, depending, a little tree sap will come out the top here, about this high, and then you'll get little leaves off of it. Once you have three leaves, then you're gonna take it and you're gonna actually plant it in the soil. So you're going to get from that big tap root that's in here, you're going to have it go all the way down your size of the container and swirl around the bottom. So it's going to coil a little jar like this. It'll produce a stem and it will instantly start coiling once it's touched the bottom. So the taller the container, the better. Uh, that just means you'll need a big container. I'll show you some of the containers that I've had. Excuse the mess. Now these trees died just from, don't even think about it, cat. This is an avocado tree. Let's not look at the other one. <laughs> this one's an avocado tree. I put it outside in the greenhouse far too early and it got burnt on the leaves and then the uh, thing itself froze. So it ruined the avocado tree. So that's why I'm doing it again. Um, I have had an avocado tree that grew about this high that's about as tall as I got it so from the ground up to about there is how tall I got it with a whole bunch of leaves and it tried to grow an avocado from it 
All right, well, that's how you grow an avocado tree. Uh, keep it indoors. Do not put it outdoors. I thought the greenhouse was hot enough. Forgot that uh, should have waited until to make sure there was no more frost. Otherwise, <clears throat> it'll kill your plants because that's what happened to ours. It froze after it got, it got burnt because it was super hot one day and then it froze the next day. So I was very confused as to what's going on. It's really easy to make this. I just used a spoon to smash it up into smithereens. Used a little bit of salt and pepper. Uh, a little bit of garlic. Uh, a little bit of onion. And then uh, I use lemon juice because that's what I had. Usually you use lime. <clears throat> and I will be adding a little bit of tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. And then that will be a little version of guac. Coco is now in here ex inspecting it. She likes to destroy my avocado trees. Because she's the one who pooped on my other one, which killed it. Alright, well, that, thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.